Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Darius from DariusCooks.tv, and boy, are you in for an amazing treat. You know how you go and you get crab legs and you can't decide whether you want garlic butter, lemon butter, or Old Bay? Why not have all three into a mayo onto a crab cake sandwich? Let's do it, okay? So I have a sheet tray and I have a rack here because I'm gonna cook the bacon, I'm gonna bake the bacon in the oven and we have really nice crispy pieces of bacon that are left, all right? And then uh, I just feel like we should just jazz it up a little bit. So I'm gonna add a little bit of brown sugar onto each slice of bacon because why not, right? All right, and then my oven is preheated, 375 degrees. This is gonna go right in and cook up until that bacon is nice and crispy. While the bacon's cooking, let's make the mayo, right? That's gonna go on our toasted brioche bun because that's really the only way to do it. I'm using some uh, mayo from the South, all right? You know, what it is, you know what it is. So, first ingredient is gonna be a little bit of lemon pepper. Then I've got some Old Bay. Then for the garlic, I'm gonna use some garlic paste because it's already smashed up, ready to go. It's a really great supermarket buy, shortcut. And then let's fortify that lemon flavor with just the smallest amount of lemon juice. All right, and then we whisk all of this together to combine. And this, I gotta tell you something, is some good stuff. Look at all that flavor floating around in here. Let's flip up the crab cake. So first, let's start with the dressing. We always start with our crab cake dressing first. Let's go ahead and season up this mayo. So I've got some Old Bay. You gotta have Old Bay in your crab cakes if you're gonna have the real deal crab cake. And then I'm gonna season it with a little bit of garlic and onion powder, just cause I like. All right, now to this, I got some cracked black pepper. And I'm also gonna put in here, I want you to really sort of taste the sweet crab. That's really the star of the show. So either some mustard, or a little bit of Worcestershire or both. That'll give me that sort of zip and that tang that you really only get from either the Worcestershire or a little bit of Dijon mustard, right? Lemon juice, a must. Fresh squeeze if you've got it. That looks good to me. Let's give that a whisk. Perfect, let me get a spoon. Cause what I wanna do is I wanna add in panko breadcrumbs, right? You can use regular breadcrumbs if you want to, but the pankos, this will help sort of hold the whole thing together. And then I got a couple pounds of a jumbo lump crab meat. Look at that. This is beautiful lump crab. See how great that looks? And then we will mix this ever, well, let me sneak a piece actually, cause it looks so good. I just gotta, you know, I gotta just taste it. Cause, mm. careful mix. Mix, mix, mix. That's what you want. Now let me show you how you do this. There's a specific way that the crab cakes are formed, almost like a mound, and then you plop the mound down. I can't really explain it. There might be a, a term for it. I just don't know what it is. See, look at that, perfect. Perfect mound. The oven is already on and the oven is already preheated. I'm just gonna put these in the oven and roast these until they're nice and golden brown. Everything's ready. Let's just put the sandwich together. Let's grab some of this lemon pepper, garlic, and Old Bay mayo on a toasted bun. All right, let's grab a crab cake. And then we'll drop that right here. Oh, now this watering. <laughs> oh, the bacon. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the bacon. What was I thinking? Tomato goes on top. Still a little pepper. Then we got a little bit of arugula. Use whatever kind you like, but arugula is bay for me. But get into it. I should probably taste it one more time. Let me see. This is about one of the best things I have eaten all this year. Out of this world please give this a try you must the recipe you know where it's going to be on the site dariuscooks.tv there's two things i want to tell you as i always do listen food is my life life is my food until next time i'm gonna wish you a happy cooking huh from my heart to you <laughs> to yours bye y'all mm.